Hi, I'm here to, to show you how to replace the faceplate of uh, optical drives. Basically, all optical drives comes in standard sizes, if you notice. They may be thick, but uh, most of them are pretty standard in size. I have three different brands of optical drives here. And I'm going to show you that more or less they have the same sizes, the same connector configuration. The only thing that that differs is the how they the face plate. Um, to remove a face plate, you need a uh, a clip, a paper clip. I straighten the paper clip and then I poke. There's a small, tiny hole just on, on all the face plates. Just remove it, push it, and then this will um, eject the, the drive. What you're going to do is first locate the screws, remove some screws here like for instance um, this um, I think this one is uh, attached to the plate ok let me remove that so using my precision screwdriver I'll take it out Actually, this one snaps up easily. All you need to do is, um, I still use this spatula, dental spatula. It's a rounded edge dental spatula. This is this is so easy because um, to use, and uh, it's safer to use because it doesn't scratch any surface. So I just put the spatula there. Some are a little bit, yeah, there you go. So this is the face plane. It is smart to buy just the, the, the base drive because it's cheaper. Some suppliers charge more if they have face plate. So if your face, if you think your face plate is still good, you can still use that. Just remove it and put them to the replacement drive. This is a bad drive here. This is just only for demo purposes. Okay, let me remove another one. This is for a compact. This one is TAC. Okay, so again, there's a tiny hole. I just have to push it. This one... I feel this one does not have a screw, so it's not snap, snaps in. Do just locate the edges. There you go. Ouch. And there might be a screw here. Okay. There you go. Okay, so another one, this is a Sony brand, and uh, oh, this one has screw, so, so it's a you, you need to get the exact number or part number of the drive so that your face place will match it or will fit it. You can check with your supplier if uh, uh, if your part number is a is a good replacement. This one has three screws here. So. 
There you go. So if you may notice, this is the faceplate of a Sony. Um, this is a faceplate of a uh, HP uh, drive. They're basically different. So that's about it. For further information, you can check our website, laptoprepairguide.us, for some more uh, free tips and tutorials.